and therefore it is okay for you as a as a bona fide American uh, to be a Hindu at the same time, and it does not undermine your Americanness. In fact, a lot of my work, which involves uh, you know engaging uh, and to correct stereotypes and biases and things of that sort, a lot of times I come across very well-meaning offers from Americans, be it the local school or the media or anybody, saying, okay, we are very happy that finally a Hindu has come who wants to discuss what Hinduism means, because our problem is that we don't have enough Hindus who want to claim their identity and explain it to us. So the, it is not the problem from the American side that we cannot assert our identity. It is a problem from the Hindu side that we have chosen not to do so. And so if you, if, if you go to your local media or school or colleges or any place and you want to participate in religious dialogues as a Hindu, very explicitly calling it a Hindu and not some generic spirituality and new age and everything is the same kind of thing, where you're really hiding because you're shameful or, sh or fearful, but very positively saying we're Hindus and this is what we stand for, I don't think that in most cases you will, you will experience any resistance. In fact, you will be welcome. So the first obstacle which was, does identity cause tension, I addressed. The second issue is, does uh, identity conflict with being an American, I also addressed. My third blockage that I come across is the most serious blockage, the most serious blockage, because that comes from internally within our own tradition. And this is where I really respect Pooja Swamiji as one of the exemplars of, of remedying this particular confusion that a lot of Hindus have and a lot of Hindu acharyas and gurus and swamis actually propagate this confusion. And this has to do with the following. Uh, at recently, at, uh, I was with uh, Swami Jyoti Mayanand at uh, intergenerational dialogue in Orlando with Hindu kids. And they would always raise the hand up and say, but we were told everything is Maya, so why do I have to be Hindu? I could be, I could be a Muslim tomorrow, I could be a Christian, I could be, it doesn't matter, does it really matter? It's all Mithya and it's all Maya. So a quick cop out. The idea that Advait has taught us non-dualism and therefore there is no such thing as my identity. We were told that this identity is a stumbling block and we should get rid of it. Indeed, you can quote Advaita to actually reach that conclusion. And, that, and the unfortunate thing is that a lot of people do that. And a lot of people when they're discussing against a Hindu, will quickly put the Hindu on the defensive saying, ah, but see, you are not supposed to have an identity because you believe in Advait, so there is nothing you can defend. If you try to defend something, then you are not being, uh, you are into Advait, and you are into dualism. So the Hindu gets very nervous about it. And this is, this is something theological. It's a philosophical, uh, and an um, uh, issue that our gurus and acharyas really, really need to take up. You come back and say, well, you know, in the Gita, Arjun is asked to actually take claim of an identity. There are Kauravs and there are Pandavas. And to carry out his dharma, he has to take on, he's a Kshatriya. All those are identities. Being a Kshatriya is an identity. Being a Kaurav, being a Pandav, that's an identity. He is told, in fact, that uh, you have a work to do. You cannot just, uh, in, the, in the idea of non-dualism, run away from work. Most Indians and Hindus I know, in their mundane life, when you leave this ashram and go back to New York or wherever, you'll be very competitive people. You're not going to say to your kids, you know, flunk the SATs because it's all with you. And if you, are a, if you are a surgeon, you're not going to say, you know, whether the patient lives or dies, it's all Maya anyway. And, and, you know, if I got sued, that suing is also Maya. And if they throw me in jail, that jail would actually be just Maya. I think there are no, I don't think Hindus are such naive and such moronic people when it comes to their own personal life. People, Hindus are exceedingly competitive, very sharp businessmen, very, uh, uh, very skillful negotiators for their own personal stake. When it's their own personal stake, the Hindu is very, very clear about these matters. So if you, if we cannot bring our Gyan into daily life and perform the role in Leela, where you have an identity, because in Leela you have an identity, you're performing Bhagwan's Leela with an identity. In, on, in a theater, 
if you've been given, if you've been casted by the director to perform a certain role, you cannot be mixed up and say, well, you know, I'll perform all the roles. You have to perform that role. Because that's what role you have been given. So if you see life as Leela, you've been given a role, that role has an identity. If we don't get this point, then we will be schizophrenic Hindus. There will be a Hinduism in the ashram, and a non-Hinduism blocked out the chip, Hindu chip will have to be turned off when you go and live your life. Because you'll be told, you'll be thinking, well, you know, now I want to be practical, I have to compete, I have to uh, get my insurance forms, I have to fill out all these things and, and live in a world where I negotiate with my boss, I want a promotion, I want a good job. All those things require me to have an identity, but since Hinduism tells me not to have an identity, then I turn off my Hindu chip and become somebody else. And then when I go back to the ashram, I'll forget that and jump and turn on the Hindu chip and become non-doer and everything is happening and everything is safe. This, uh, this bifurcated non-dualism in one realm when you are with an acharya in an ashram and then jumping into some other mode which is contradictory will create a bipolar kind of uh, society and we have a lot of people who suffer from that. So this issue of living the full life, not only the adhyatmic life, but also the social life, carrying out one's dharma, playing the leela, performing the role, which involves having an identity, and, and, the, and the idea of an ultimate reality which is non-dual, and a provisional reality which is the kurukshetra and the karmakshetra and the dharmakshetra, where we have to perform roles, and therefore we have to have an identity. I think this is the central issue then the central source of confusion which is preventing a lot of people from claiming Hindu identity. So I leave with that with the request that this is an open conversation we ought to start. It is not a simple thing you can fix in five or ten minutes, but this topic itself needs to be on the agenda for Hindu discussions, which I hope Puja Swamiji's leadership will lead us to. Thank you.